Ha ha, look at this. Ah, oh, hope no one's around. Oh, what's this sign say? Keep out. No, I'm going in there anyway. Oh, whoa, this guy's been busy. I think I'll take all this stuff. And <laughs> you have to find out, won't you? <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Atomic Reconstructor. So, what you're going to need is the Atomic Reconstructor, of course, what you see in front of me. But before we have a look at that, I'll just show you the recipe. So, you're going to need four redstone, four iron, and a bit more iron to make the iron casings. And to make this lens, which you can make some lenses, as you can see, you're going to need eight pieces of glass and black quartz. So, what you're going to need to do is place your machine down. It is going to need power, as you can see. It uses 300,000 RF, so that's quite a bit of power. So I have just placed a, you know, a bank, power bank behind it. And you're probably going to need a lever as well. So what we can do now is if we switch this guy on, and you can see it will pulse laser. You can stand in front of it. It won't hurt me. So, what we're going to need, we're going to need to grab our resources. So, for the first one, if we chuck, say, a piece of redstone in front of it. Booyah! There you go. We have our redstonian crystal. Next, if we chuck, say, iron. Boom. Bang! Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now we have our... Inori crystal. And finally, of course, the one we've been waiting for, the diamond. Oh yeah, we have the diamond crystal. So, if you wanted to make this on a mass produced scale, as I've kind of got it semi automated, you can just chuck all this stuff in here. And there you go, it will just make it like nobody's business. You just have to remember to come along. And I'm using the timer for the drop. Pick the stuff up. But what you can do is you can get a redstone torch and toggle between modes, as it keeps showing up on my screen. And not only that, why don't we try a lens? You know, you can always add lenses to this. Bang! There we go. We can have a rainbow colours all day. This thing can't make it fast enough. You can't get an upgrade to make this machine quicker. But yeah, so there we go. So now we've got four of these guys, one of these, and one of these. That will slowly work its way through. And just note, each item's at a cost of 1000 CF for crystal flux. You can change modes, just like I said, with a redstone torch by right clicking on it. So, a powerful items. For the Restonia crystal, it takes 40 RF. For the Inori crystal it takes 80 RF and for the diatime crystal it takes 60 RF so I hope this has helped you in learning how to use this machine and maybe I should turn that off so until next time sit tight